What's up, guys? More Medic One here, and today I picked up my uh, neighbor's lawnmower, and he said he was running it, and it just it he it stopped, and when he went to crank it up, it's just vibrating like crazy. So I'm pretty sure we've got a bent blade or maybe even a bent crank. Let's get this thing offloaded onto the workbench and get this thing checked out. I bought this motorcycle lift off my buddy at work. He wasn't going to do any more motorcycle repairs, so I bought this one off of him for 200 bucks, and I've got one here that I needed to clean off. It's got an old Tecumseh power generator on it. Boy, I just keep them covered up. But anyway, let's get this thing turned over on its side. I'll show you how to properly tilt a mower so you don't fill the carburetor up with oil. And we're going to disconnect the spark plug right here. Might even just go ahead and take it out just to make the compression less. What we're working on here, it looks to be like a 21 inch Bridge and Stratton powered, or maybe it's just an MTD push mower, non self propel. So, here in just a second, I'm going to get this camera set up right on the end of this crankshaft. So that we can pull it over and see if it's bent. Now that spark plug don't look too bad at all. Now when you flip a mower over, you want to flip it to where the carburetor is pointing to the sky. So I'm gonna turn this thing around. And back y'all up just a little bit so we don't bump the table and get y'all all shooken up. about to get the first look at this thing to see if it's bent got a bent crank look right here at this bolt and i'm going to go over there and i'm going to pull the rope and let's just see how bad it's bent right here review the video and I'll be right back with you guys. Oh heck yeah. She bent. And she bent pretty good. I hadn't seen one that bad in a while now. Most of the time if they're anything more than that the crankshafts just break off. But I got a little wonder or a little I forgot what the name of it's called the brand of it but I've got a crankshaft straightener and I've used it a couple of times. But this is a perfect candidate to get that thing out and i'm gonna see we're gonna see if we can straighten this crankshaft using the proper tools now i know the internet's gonna scream and say well you you can't legally be, uh straighten a crankshaft i can too i can do anything i can hit it with a sledgehammer if i want to ain't nothing gonna be coming back on me if the it's <laughs> Operator error if he hits another stump and it just disintegrates and flies out and I don't know, whatever. Let's get this thing tore down and get it on the straightener and see if we can't get it, you know, within a thou or two. Let's go ahead and zip the blade off of this thing. It's just a 5 8 same size as the spark plug. I 
a lot of times it will knock the tits off of the blade adapter. This blade adapter don't seem to be broken. A lot of times it'll just crack right there where the keyway is. This more being new enough, it shouldn't have a problem coming off. Should just slip right, there we go. Got a bunch of junk around the crank there. All right, so we're gonna take the engine mounting bolts off. There's three, go ahead and get those off. Good friend of mine, BS Small Engines, he works at Longview Lawn and Garden there in Longview, Texas. Uh, he prints these, and what this is, is a cable compression tool, and it's perfect for this job right here, is getting this cable off. It's slotted, and it's got a hole, and it goes right over that. And that way you can slide those tabs right out of there. See how easy that was? This engine should be loose now. I'll set it on the floor just for the time being. Just a minute so I can get this deck off of here. All right, now here's my, it's been sitting on the shelf, it's a little bit dusty. Here is my crankshaft straightener. As you can tell it's got three holes this is where the engine's going to mount the crankshaft's going to punch through right here and it'll automatically be centered right here now i have seen where people have adapted this to work on other engines they just drill a hole but this one should fit that briggs and stratton without any modifications let's go ahead and get that motor set back up here you can go ahead and use the same screws that you use to take the motor off with. Once you get the engine mounted on the fixture, you can come around here and it comes with two different uh, size adapters or arbors. So you can tell that one's too loose and you'll use the one that fits the crank the best. And I think there's even, a, you know, some metric ones. I think this one is just, uh, oh, what do you call it? Just standard hit and it fits the crank perfectly. So what you wanna do is just run, well, it doesn't have, you'll have to find, I'll have to get a longer bolt for that. But, I don't think it really needs to be sucked up against that crankshaft. Let's just pull this thing through and see what it looks like. I just don't think I have it up on there all the way. it up there all right so now we should better be able to really see the bend in that crank Let me zoom in on it for you apparent that it's bent like crazy okay so we're gonna pay attention to our little dial indicator right here 
I'm gonna let it fall right there. We can watch this. Yeah, oh yeah, baby. She is way out. Okay, so the object of this game is going to be these two forcing screws. One here. Get it, boy. And there's one right here. So what we're wanting to do is get it in the highest possible point. Between it's high and low, as you can tell, it is almost right there, back a little bit, is at its highest point. Take the bottom screw, And we're just gonna get it to where it just touches. So I'm gonna start turning this. Well, one turn already is getting us pretty close. But in my experience, let me get you a better shot of that. In my experience, to get this thing close, you're gonna have to go past it quite a bit because the spring, the elasticity of the metal is gonna try to spring back. So we're gonna go Passed it a little bit. Let's go about another quarter of an inch. All right, let's see where we are. I can already tell it's not gonna be good. Yeah, okay, we're loose. Still not there, so we gotta go more. Don't be afraid of this thing. You're not gonna break it. Back it off now. Let's see where we where we are. That's pretty close. Now let's pull it through and watch our indicator and see how bad off we are still. Okay, we're getting closer. We were way down here. Getting closer. It's gonna take just a little bit more fine tuning to get that how I like it. Guys, I think I've just about got it where I want it. Let's see how she looks now. That looks pretty good. That's definitely within, within spec. I'm gonna go just, 
just a little more. Right there. Not much, because you can't overdo it. believe I got it even better that time. All right, so we need to get this adapter off. And in my experience, that thing will get swedged on there pretty good. Just bent to Hades and back. You can see the curve in it right here. Alrighty, guys. Hey, I'm going to have to run to the Home Depot and get a blade for this guy's lawnmower. Y'all stay tuned. I'll be back shortly. We'll get this. When I get back, all this motor and stuff's going to be put back on the deck, and all we're going to do is put a blade on it and crank it and see if we fix the vibration. Alrighty, guys. Let's see how we did. Alrighty guys, hey, we got that crankshaft straightened up pretty good on that little Briggs motor. Hey, if this content helped you out, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're doing that, go ahead and click that bell and click that heart if you so desire. Y'all have a good rest of your week. More Medic One.